Numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. <laughs> Look at Cole's face right at the end of that. Just classic shit. Watch his face, yo. We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's gonna cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. There's a little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. Good beer. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Now be careful. He likes guns. But do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Dope peddler, Juan Cruz, rope of fire, and you know, the rest of the story tells itself. It was already Is shoot. this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Pull up to the spot and they already. Bow, bow, bow. As soon as I pulled up, though. DLC case, by the way. This isn't part of the actual base game. So it's not really related to the storyline from the other cases so far. And there's uh, five DLC cases. This will be our third. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Okay, what else do we have? Find anything interesting? Respect, bro. All right, we might need to look at his pockets in a minute. He don't got anything. Check his other arm. How y'all doing? Is everybody good? Is y'all ready for the next poll? I might do 
Cause they got like YouTube polls now. Maybe I'll do a you. I'm gonna see, but you only get like four choices. I'm gonna put like eight games on the next one. Friends. It's gonna be crazy. Real quick. Silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Yeah, I'm gonna make it real hard too. Cause we have some classics on that poll. Uh, Vice City. We we gonna wait till later on in the year to do that. We're not gonna do that right away. I know that's. I know that's the big one, but we're gonna we gonna we out for that. We're gonna we out. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Born in 1910, Juan. Okay, we didn't check these back rooms back here. Let me play straight mixtape shit in here. That? Right, that's nothing. I right, know this looks important. What is this shit? Here, they playing music and shit. Alright, I don't I'm not seeing much in here. What do we have here? Hey, these are the guys keeping warm so well stocked with soup. Yeah, soup my ass. Alright, let's come back here. We need to come to the shed. Cause that door was open. Plus there's a gold handle on this. Oh, here we go. All the different little shoots. All the little shoots he got. Got nuts and bolts in the soup can. What the hell is that about? They're all the same. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> well, this shit ain't funny. Way too much. It's practical jokes, man. Now we're getting somewhere. Holy! I'm sorry, I'm getting all excited and shit. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just this guy EJ it. seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. Yep. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. You hungry or something, Phelps? I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Absolutely. Put the goddamn weed down. All right, there's our theme music right there. So we're supposed to go to the next place. Let's go ahead. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been overseasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. 
Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. What is going on? LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on it. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. She want me, baby! You see that? She put the titties in my face! Yeah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro, but she's seen that, though. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Jorge is one of the people. That's who we just went to his house. We went, is, did we blow his head off? This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. Did you see the way that bitch walked in the room? What was that about? How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Well, if you was doing so well, you wouldn't have to sell weed, sir. So I don't believe you. And you need to come on home and get this ball head, fam. The way your shit is set up in the front, you got like a little lump with hair on it. And then them corners is gone, fam. Like, join the club. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. I don't give a fuck, man. Like, I don't care. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Look at it. I mean, did you see how he, he down there smile? Come on, man. Make this harder. Come on. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Cost my wetback, though, you piece of shit. Very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Well, did you see what Cole just did with his lips at the end? Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? What? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm sorry. Yo, that face is hilarious. Do it one more time. One more. One more time. Look, look, look at look at Cole's face right at the end of that. Just classic shit. Watch his face, yo. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. That, <laughs> yo, that is hilarious. That, that's funny as hell, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me make sure we good. That's just funny, bro. <laughs> How we good? That, that's just hilarious. Cause you, he, Cole knows he's lying. So I'm gonna take, like, he got a pretty good poker face. Like he's looking me right in the eyes and everything. But looking at Cole's lips. I'm gonna pick doubt. We don't have any evidence. That's why I haven't went to the lab. Uh, 
captured no good. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on? I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. <laughs> Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Bro, I don't know, bro. Uh, I'm a guess. I'm a, I'm a guess. I'm a pick. All right. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. All that bro was four out of four right there. That's just definitely, I hate seeing definitely how things are made. Face is the intro. This is going to be like and, uh, that time I'm I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Holes, that whole shit, because I, I got to use that for the montage. I got some good ideas for the next montage, too. I'm actually going to do that one once I'm done with this game. There's going to be probably four games on there. So, that shit's going to be funny, bro. Teddies. How you doing? Any ideas? Get out my way. Get, get out my way. Let's take his nickel tour and have our own look around. Shit. Now she don't want to pay me no attention. You just had to look at them luscious titty. Right, let me let me quit play. I, I, I quit. I quit. I'm still. I'm still. Okay, so he's gonna give us a little tour around the factory. I'm sure, it's worth it. Maybe we can talk to someone. This is, this is all you have? There's what, like six people here. How's this a factory? How do you produce five million cans That's the guy's factory this size? With all that big case. Two employees and shit. Sir, what? This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. Good right. That name I can keep quiet, man. Some kind of I can't stand up on this. Okay, what now? This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. I'm following you. Come on. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. Now look in here. Isn't that the top of the so What's next? The 20th century market. One, two, three, four. This is all over now. Okay, so this is the place they frequently deliver to. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I just looked at the damn book. I delivered to them about eight, eight to nine times. I'd like a private word with your dispatcher, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. I'll be over here when you need me. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? 
Another silver dollar, eh? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No. Not me. Shit. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Sorry. I'm gonna put a little... A little montage, you know, they had an idea that popped in my head. Alright, so he said he didn't know dude, but they both got silver dollars that are out of circulation. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? Alright, so that's, that's, that was good. That was a good one right there. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Now, Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some common union types infiltrate this place. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. The cavalry should be here any minute. Chances. It's always one dude. You always got a runner. Uh oh, look, look how fat. You ain't fast, bruh. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. He's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. 
But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I don't think you're cool. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. Three silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Go out here spitting bars and shit. Bars. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Well, the last guy we interviewed told us the silver dollars are given. I forgot who, who gives it to him, but he got one too. So you're lying, sir. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The silver dollar. Does, uh, does it matter which one? You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. The real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Okay, so you, all right, so you looking right at me. Yeah, come on, man. He's, that's, that's the truth. That's true. Continue. Right? I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Freddie said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Now? Let's get them. Oh, shit. You're paying for every last scratch. park right here. It's the worst parking job ever. I know it. All right, move. Move! Let's go! Oh, I want... I don't want the shotgun. 
Well, that's all we got now. Looks like we're about to get into a shootout. Second one in the video. I love it. Everyone into position. That dude right there looks like he's about to get blown away, fam. Perimeter is up. The whole place is contained. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Again. Quite a lot. More than we've ever had so far. Let's start cleaning bitches up. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Boy, I, it, it didn't say there was two dudes left. Another silver dollar, eh? One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. All right, let's see what he got in his pockets, though. You want an address? You should see what the federales have on him. That's nothing but like a movie ticket or something. The Sea of Grass. Mm, nothing there. Nothing here either. All right. Nice if I could get my hat back though. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. I'm trying to look back here. Oh, I can't look in, in these ones, only back there. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Per box? Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Following you? Or... Is he up here? Ah! He got all that money. Why you got money? How you down with money in your hand like that? thousand dollars here that is way more than a thousand dollars uh maybe not but a thousand dollars rolled up might not be that big though mm, i mean that's i don't know another silver dollar eh yet another silver dollar phelps earl looks like quite a bloodbath what was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? 
Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Um, uh, let me see something. So in our clue book, one of the first things we got was that. I wonder if we have to make it say that. No, give me a second. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, Straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Got his little match for my single shot handgun, bitch! Alright, you got a nice gun I can actually take or no? Dead. You won't be needing this anymore. Ha 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 ha! Oh, motherfucker, you look like one of them! Okay. Alright, we'll make our way up the steps here. I'll tell you what, if you were waiting for it, it's a drop. How long do you think you can hold out? Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Give me some cover. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yes. Uh, 
Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Working vice can be a thankless task, Belts. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Well, sounds like they're going to get away with it again. That is the end of this episode of LA Noir. I will see you all later. We only got $10 in city damage. Everything else is 100% five star. And that's something like it's what I do. But I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace, y'all. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Alcacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! <laughs>